live look outside at the Oregon coast. Our in at Spanish Head Resort Hotel camera in Lincoln City. Thanks for watching Afternoon Live. 2024 is the year of the dragon. Here to share more about the upcoming Chinese New Year, we welcome award-winning fashion designer, culinary creator, and lifestyle expert, Peter Som. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. So tell us a bit about the Chinese New Year celebration because it's much more than just one day, right? It is, it is almost a full month, really, and it starts this coming Friday. It's the year of the dragon, and people who were born in the year of the dragon are said to be um, driven and focused and destined for success. So every every animal in the in the Chinese zodiac has its own characteristic. Pretty cool. Okay, so let's talk about some things. Maybe if you're hosting a gathering or heading to a celebration, some things to look out for and prepare for, like the classic colors red and gold. Yes, exactly. Red is good luck uh, in, in Chinese culture and Asian culture. And so you can see I'm wearing a red sweater. You'll see a lot of people wearing red. And gold is also the color of prosperity. So for example, um, these are little red envelopes that you'll hand out to family and friends. Usually they're filled with money, um, which is always lovely. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but these are really all about the, the celebratory colors of the Lunar New Year. Beautiful. And in terms of food, citrus is important, right? Citrus is really important. A citrus really symbolizes abundance and renewal. So you can see back here, I have I have mandarin oranges, which are also great this time of year, especially in New York City where I'm, where it's really cold. So a little burst of sunshine here, and I even have a larger pomelo. So citrus is super important, and any really kind of fruit and plants as well. Do you have anything special planned for kind of the beginning of the celebrations this weekend? I do, actually. Every year, um, I do a Lunar New Year party, so I invite family, friends, uh, it's a big celebration. Everyone comes in and brings food and enjoys uh, all the good things that are to come for the new year. Lovely, and you have a special recipe to share with us today. I do, I do. So this is uh, called Namai Fan, which is a sticky rice dish. It's a savory sticky rice dish, which is my grandmother's recipe. And I kind of gave my own tweak because normally it takes like, like a day or like 24 hours to make, but I have kept it really simple. Um, if you like fried rice, you'll love this because it's like, it's like fried rice, but you have the texture of sticky rice as well. Um, and everything happens in the Dutch oven, which is great. Beautiful. If you're not a Dutch oven, just use, a, uh, just use a, a large pot. So I'm just putting in shallots and I'm putting in garlic right here. That, that sweats down. And in here, I just have a neutral oil. And I already smell so great. Now, once that garlic hits, and this is something my grandmother made every Lunar New Year for um, since, you know, since I was a child. And it's also something that she made for uh, Thanksgiving and for Christmas. So again, these are, this was reserved for the big holidays. That's so special that you get to share that now with loved ones as you're making your own version of it. Yeah, I, I'm a more of an impatient person than my grandmother. <laughs> I, I, I skipped to the 24-hour thing, and really now it's just going to be done in 30 minutes. Um, so once these shallots and the garlic are sweated down, you're going to add shiitake mushrooms. And you're going to add this Chinese sausage, which is called lap chang. And it is a delicious sausage that is um, a little savory and a touch sweet. And it is, um, I mean, it's sausage. What's not to love? Everyone What's loves it. What's not to love? Perfection. Exactly. So this is going to just cook down and gonna you know of course all those mushrooms are big now but they're gonna really, really reduce and get a lot of great color that golden brown color you're looking for and in terms of the flavorings it's really simple so we have a dark soy and dark soy is is a little bit different than light soy it's much more um sort of dense uh has a greater depth of flavor and is a little bit more intense kind of think of it as almost like balsamic vinegar mm -hmm. you know and then we're adding oyster sauce which is again a really super savory, delicious uh, sauce that, I mean, I, I love. Again, it has, it's sort of like a thick Worcestershire almost, you know? Yeah, everything so, you're writing so far just sounds so good combined. It smells so good in here. So these all cook down, and then what all you do now is add your rice. So I have one part jasmine rice. And then I have one part sweet rice. Now, sweet rice is also called glutinous rice. And that's where you're going to get that sort of chew from. If you like something like mochi, uh, you know, you'll, you'll be familiar with that kind of chew. And I've rinsed it a few times. And this is normally where my grandmother would soak this for like 24 hours. 
Uh, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I've soaked it a few times. Awesome. Put it in here, and you mix it around. And again, like I said, everything happens in this Dutch oven. It is so easy, and it smells so good. You have the garlic, the shallots. You have that Chinese uh, lap churn, that sausage, really imparting that flavor. And then... Beautiful. A final step you, here. Final step is you pour your chicken broth in, you put the lid on, and you let it go for about 20, 25 minutes. After you're done, you stir in some peas because a uh, little bit of green is always nice, some cilantro, some parsley, and you end up with this beautiful dish right here. That is so, so beautiful, and I love your 30-minute version. We can all accomplish this at home for our celebrations this week. Thank you so much for spending some time with us today. Thank you so much, Anna. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, and we'll have more on our website at katu.com. We'll be right back with more Afternoon Live right after this.